Hey, what's happening guys? I'm Ikehime and welcome to my channel. And today I am going to be doing a character redesign of a character that I created back in 2011. Now, the original design is, as you can see, right there on the left side and it is not very good. The colors are just way too contrasty. That pink is extremely bright. Everything about this just clashes and is not aesthetically pleasing at all and um, it's just all around terrible and you can tell that I was a kid when I designed it. Um, yeah, so I decided that now since I do have an idea and something that I want to do with these characters, I decided that going through and redesigning them would be a good thing to do and I figured why not show you guys the process. So when I originally created these characters, I created them for for the sole purpose of drawing them in a western cartoon style, so um, I've never drawn this particular character in any style other than cartoon style. So she doesn't have any anime drawings of her anywhere at all. So since that was the intention that I had when I created the characters, I decided to roll with that and just keep with the western cartoon theme. So for this project, I am going to be keeping the characters in a more western inspired style opposed to my normal anime style. Um, yeah, so a little backstory on the character. Her original name, this is so embarrassing to say, oh my god, I'm gonna like smack myself upside the head, but her original name was actually Lady Nameless. I know, that's so stupid, isn't it? Oh, I don't know what little me was thinking, but if I could go back in time, I would slap little me upside the head so fast, you have no idea. That name is terrible. It is the worst name I could have come up with. I just, oof. And you know what's sad is that I actually put thought into it. It wasn't even a lazy name. I put thought into it. Ugh, so anyways, um, yeah, and she was originally the best friend of one of the main characters, which she still is, I'm gonna keep that the same, but she had a very cheerful, happy, um, just really, like, welcoming committee style personality, and I really wanted to take that away from her because I feel like it just clashed way too much with the main character's personality and they just seemed a little bit too similar. So I definitely wanted to add some contrast. And for this I'm going to be doing a character turnaround reference sheet, which is um, here I have taken a copy of the sketch, flipped it, moved it over, and I erased all the details and basically made the back view, um, adjusting it that way. So it's um, in proportion to the initial sketch, but it's just the back view. And here I'm going for the profile view. I typically don't do character turnarounds. I don't know why. I think it's a lot easier to do character turnarounds with cartoon characters rather than anime characters because anime characters typically have much more detail to worry about and it is really tedious to do the um, turnaround and reference sheets for them. So I usually don't. So if my characters are inconsistent, that's why. Sorry about it. <laughs> I'm just kind of lazy. Um, as you can see, I'm adjusting her feet size. I kind of wanted her feet to be a little bit longer than they seemed in the initial sketch. Um, they didn't come off that well in the sketch, so we'll kind of play around with it and see if I want to make the feet longer or keep them small. At this point, I'm kind of liking the longer feet since she's really a stretched out, elongated bean pole of a character, so I think that I'll roll with that. Um, so yeah. <laughs> Hopefully I'll figure out how to properly draw them from the front view at some point. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, I'm just going to go through an ink right now, um, which will just really define the sketch for me and just kind of really keep everything together and um, definitely give me those defined lines and everything that I need to adjust and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so um, as far as her personality goes, I definitely wanted to change that because her the main character is a very happy character, I think, um, and I really wanted to make this character a bit more toned down, a bit more reserved, and maybe a bit more relatable, um, especially since um, the initial characters, their age was like between 11 and 12, so they were very, very young, and I really wanted to age them up because I... Again, like I said, I created them when I was a kid, and I think that I created them that way because it was relatable for me at the time, but with me being older and me having more defined interests and a um, much more adult sense of humor, I think that making the characters older would open it up a lot more for more mature comedy, so that's what I decided to do here. Um, 
As for her shoes, you can see I'm drawing more Converse inspired shoes. Um, her original shoes, I'm not really sure what they are. They look like glorified socks and it's terrible. Um, but I did kind of want to keep with the, um, like the boot kind of theme. So I decided that, um, high tops would be a good way to go because they're still tall, but they're not like boots. And, um, when I was in high school, a lot of people were really into Converse. I had a couple of high tops, and pretty much everyone had high tops. Converse were a really big deal. I don't know if they still are or not, but they definitely were when I was in school. Um, yeah, so I wanted to keep most of the design very similar to what I originally had planned, with just like a few updates here and there. I think the shorts were fine, so I just went with shorts, um, and they definitely showed off that little scar that she has on her leg, so I think that that works out fine. Her original design was a little too scarecrowy for me. I think she was supposed to be like a created animated doll or something like that, and I am totally freaked out by that idea now. So I decided to go with something a little more undead feeling. When I go into color, um, you see me doing a couple of color swatches on her face because I didn't know exactly what color I wanted to go with. I wanted to do something a little bit more toned down, a little ashy, and um, I think I picked a very good color for that. It's a little bit more muted um, without looking too gray. So that was like my main concern because I want her to have a more dead skin color but not too dead. I want her to still look like she could get up and walk around, you know? So yeah, that's what I decided to do for that. As for her um, eyes and stuff, I decided to go with um, an icy blue color because her original gray color was uh, stupid. <laughs> I hate gray eyes. I'm sorry, I really do. I feel like they're just so boring and dull and they're just like a really cheap way of creating something lifeless. So unless you have a extremely good reason for them to be gray, I think that you should pick another color. So I picked an icy blue and I think it works a lot better because it's still cold but it's still in the realm of a real color for eyes. <laughs> um, as for the hair, I definitely wanted to keep the hair um, in, a, in the realm of gray, but I thought that the black was a bit too dark, so I decided to go the total opposite way and make her hair really, really light, and I think that that contrast within her outfit really makes the difference. Um, I think that there was just too much tonal similarity in her original design, and I really wanted to change it up, especially considering that the main character has a darker colored hair. I didn't want them to seem too similar, and I definitely wanted them to stand apart from each other. Despite, you know, being totally different heights and builds, I really wanted more differences I guess. Um, but yeah, so the hair color was really a nice change and it was something that I went into this not expecting to come out with, but I'm actually happy with the choice. And as you can see here, I decided to give her a hoodie because she is a very shy and reserved character now, which is the total opposite of what she was before. And her original shirt was way too bright, so I definitely wanted to tone that pink down like a lot. So her color is a lot more muted and it's a lot easier on the eyes. But yeah, so shy characters typically like to hide in their clothing a bit, um, at least like that's how I was. I always hid in my clothing, so I gave her a hoodie, um, which is it's just like a comfort thing, and I thought it would um, portray her personality a lot more than her original shirt would have. As for the Converse, they're pretty much just standard color, you know, nothing special about them. Black was, you know, pretty much the most basic and most common one you could get. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much it for the character redesign. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you like this video and want to be updated every time I post a new video, please feel free to subscribe. I update videos weekly, if I possibly can. <laughs> and uh, thank you guys so much for watching this. All the links to my social media shop and Patreon are in the description box below, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!